Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, need to adopt this uh, political solution because uh, we are not interested who is for and who is right. We believe that at the round table we can uh, solve this problem in order to move uh, this country forward. Because uh, the issue of what is happening in Nandikalo today is a symbol of injustice that uh, they have met on Ndibu. And based on this thing, uh, that is why this whole issue is coming up. So we are asking the Nigerian government to come down and look for a political solution to have a roundtable with the IPOP and the Talo in order to solve this problem. And like we said before, that this trial is baseless. What the president can do is to inv invoke the powers that is assigned to the Attorney General under the Constitution and discontinue this jamboree. And I want the federal government to try this option of using the judgment of Court of Appeal for political solution and releasing mass in the One major priority area in the southeast, which I think we cool off a great deal of nerves is for us to bring out Kanu, that gentleman, pull him out, stop this incarceration. Leaders of the Southeast feel that the release of Mazen Nam de Kanu will help in dousing all the tensions and everything that is going on. In the southeast, the law, the, the, the court have released him. The court have released him, and uh, we, we in Ohanes and Debo, feel that there is no justifiable reason whatsoever to still keep him in prison when he had been released. The release of uh, Namdi Kano, you know that the southeast has uh, made a collective demand to have Namdi Kano released. Some of the tier of the courts are granted in bail. Even in the issue of the charges, some tier of the court had quashed all the charges. So you can see that the government has a lot of places it can stand to release the young man and bring peace to the southeast. So many lives have been lost as a result of this, uh, as a result of the continued detention of Enam de Kanu. The government should, at this time, I think, uh, look at both sides of the co uh, coin. Look at what is happening in the southeast. The insecurity in the southeast before now wasn't as uh, serious as, as. If they really have the interests of their people at heart, only what we bring peace and progress in that region is the release of Mars and Nampekano. Which one again is the Afrikan? I'm asking you. From where? How many people? The day I will bring out the Biafran army, we number over 200,000 standing. Reserve is over a million. Some bunch of idiots somewhere because you are serving your full and danger with masters. We will get hold of all of you. Take a uno oko. We know they are bad eggs when we see them. <laughs> That the courage today that you have in your balance because of ESM, the courage of Amwateku to say no to Fulani is because of ESM. Because of Eastern Security Network, that is why they found the courage to say no to Fulani. If not, they will not do it. After all, all these years, without the coming, oh, should I say all these months, without the coming of ESM, has Amwateku said we are going to flush out from Fulani the headsman from our bushes? Never. It's because they saw us, they have seen us doing it. They said, oh, we might as well do the same thing as well. In order to, 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 it's called the pin sum movement, to cut us off, they got some people, I don't know whether they maybe in Olu or whatever, got them together, gave them, they say, we are Biafran army, a few idiots. They are shooting guns, we are Biafran army. Inside somewhere. Did we tell you that we have formed the Biafran army? We said when we form it, the world will know that we have come. I don't hide anything. So it's, it's all the handiwork of DSS. Kaka Otu Nakachirika Uno Oko Ara. Mad people have every eat yourself everywhere. Africans and lack of discipline. You don't have discipline. You don't have discipline. That was why the white man came and conquered you because you lack discipline. After the white man must have finished um, um, with you, Fulani came from Senegambia because you have no brain. Lack of discipline. Every idiot thinks they can lead. They don't know what leadership entails. Every monkey thinks, oh, maybe if we have it. Then... 
Nobody is funding IPOB ESN. It's only IPOB that's funding it worldwide. If you think you can bring two or three people together with a, with a few rifles, and because of that, you can start calling for funds, you are wasting your time. You don't know our people. They won't give you a dime. Fulani is making use of your brain. You cannot see it. They come to you. Oh, why don't you fight? In this case, we have not one, not two, but three separate panels, judicial panels, that have said his arrest, his rendition, and his continued incarceration are absolutely illegal. Not because it's not a good idea, not because we don't like it, not because he's the leader of our people or a leader of people that we favor. The Nigerian courts applying Nigerian law made that determination not once, but twice. And I'm here to tell you, to be kind, Nigerian courts are not legendary for their willingness to go against the Nigerian government. In fact, it almost never happens. Yet you have two court judgments, it's so obvious, that said he must be released immediately, he must be returned to his place of citizenship, which is Britain, and he must be paid a billion Nara, or 500,000 Nara, depending on the court. Along with that, we have a judgment a scathing rebuke from the United Nations. The United Nations has looked at this case and determined that there are rampant, gross human rights violations and they demand the immediate release. Now here's where Namdi Kanu parts from Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, in, indeed, once again, the most celebrated freedom fighter in the world, perhaps in the history of the world, the most recent history of the world, never was the beneficiary of a single court judgment that demanded his release. Never. Didn't happen. Didn't happen in South Africa, didn't happen in Lesotho, didn't happen in Soweto, didn't happen in Rwanda, didn't happen in the United States. And more importantly, there was never an international tribunal. The UN never addressed Nelson Mandela. Never once did the UN issue a call for his freedom. And I'm here to tell you once again, that is very, very significant. That is very significant. We're talking about a man that is more of what we admire in Nelson Mandela than even Nelson Mandela. And I'm also here to tell you another great difference. Nelson Mandela was trying to lead his people out of apartheid. Apartheid was an absolutely horrible form. Who's who's it? Who's responsible for the issue? Who's stopping them from coming in? Who's stopping them from coming in? I'm asking you, who's stopping them from coming in? I have a right. People are going to have a right. Who told you that? Where are you commanding? Who are you commanding? Where 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 are you commanding